Hello everyone, I've got the latest and greatest from Your Creative Studio subscription box. If this is a clue, I'm intrigued. It says capture. So, knocking things over right away, of course. And, oh look, what has already escaped the tissue paper. It's a little camera charm. That's cool. I'm excited because that's a, a timeless ephemera. These old vintage looking camera. That's cool. It's a little charm. And then this looks pretty neat also. Looks like a lens there. Maybe those are camera pieces. Ooh, that's an interesting pattern there with the circles and then a vintage looking videographer. It says, in the world of photography, you get it. No, you get to share a captured moment with other people. James Wilson. It's hard to read that and I'm not even sure if you can read it via the camera or not, but it's subtle anyway. Okay, moving in to the contents. Let's see if we can slip that out. And we have, oh, that looks pretty neat. I'll have to open that in a moment. We have the washi. Should we start with the washi? And some cling stamps. What? Is that a rooster? Okay. That one is interesting looking. The cling stamps here, I'm going to set right here. I'm going to start with the washi. I am loving it. I'm not sure what this image is right off the bat. Something vintage photography related, I'm sure. Do I have it upside down? I might. This is really cool. Very vintage. And I love it. Okay. Is that, uh, just out of frame there. We'll set you down right like that. Scoot the package aside. And I guess we'll go ahead and do the stamps. And we have this large one here. Looks like, you know, a vintage photography setup with all kinds of stuff underneath, like chemicals for maybe development. Not sure exactly. Pretty cool. Set that one over here. And we'll save the odd looking one for last here. Ooh, what is this? Like, at first glance, it looks like a typewriter, but, oh, pfft. you can see I had it sideways. Um, yeah, this is in a very old camera, which I don't really know much about very old cameras, but it's cool looking. And I will stamp these out in a moment, and we can see what they look like stamped out. Okay, yes, indeed, I believe <laughs> this is a cool rooster, and or is it a chicken? Um, not sure. But the... The wing has a little camera here, a bow tie, sunglasses, and looks like a stocking cap. Hmm, interesting. Funky and cute. So let me go ahead and stamp those out and then pop this footage in. So while I was putting everything away, I found inside this stamp package another stamp. So I am showing you all for those stamped out. There's this photography set, set up here, the vintage camera, the funky chicken, and a roll of film, which is pretty neat. I love this little one, and I'm glad that I found it. And I don't know if you can, well, eh, there's too much glare from the lights, but you can see very well how it looks stamped out. What else do we have here? I don't want to lose my little camera charm. Maybe I'll set it right there. This... Is paper, maybe? Mmm, I like the texture. Interesting booklet. Is it all the same? Nope, it's not all the same. Oh, I saw a kangaroo. There he is, on an Australian postage stamp. So they're kind of, ooh, I really like these. I love the color combinations, the blues and the reds and the stamps. And these are just collage fodder, maybe? And also, you can use them for all kinds of stuff, but I love postage-themed stuff. And this is different than other things we've got in the past, so that's pretty cool. I will use that. What is this? Oh, oh my goodness! How cute is that? It's like a little gift. Um, 
Oh, I love that it has a key ring. Let's see. Nothing inside but some foam. This is super cool. I don't know if you can hear my smile, but this is one of those unique things that comes in the box. And it's very vintage and camera looking. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it, but I like it. That was a nice surprise. Midnight letter. 30 pieces of whatever this is. All right, I got that out. We have just a tiny little bit of twine. Ah, uh, it's cute in presentation. I have lots of stuff like this, so it's not super useful to me. This looks like a washi sticker. I can see it coming off ever so slightly here. Let me um, scoot these aside a bit so I don't lose the contents. Oh, I had it upside down too. Yeah, little washi sticker. I really like this little design. And then we have a lovely lady in a hat. Same washi type sticker. This looks like a washi sticker also. Like it's got the acetate backing paper. It's not really paper. Um, this... <laughs> I am frozen. I'm just staring at the jet, the, the personified rabbit um, on this old bicycle. Cute. Write a letter. Command. I like that. Those are all washi stickers. And it looks like we have some paper ephemera here. This is a nice versatile label-like one. Ooh, I like that. Piano notes. That's cute. I love this image. Is it going to focus? Hopefully that focused. I can't really tell. And then we have... Sous le pont Mirabeau coule la Seine. Under the Mirabeau Bridge runs the Seine River, I'm guessing. And then it's got some more French. La joie venait toujours après la peine vient la nuit. Son something. Can't read it. Okay, that's paper too. And whoa, those guys are scary looking. I don't really know what they are. They're kind of neat though. Their legs are entangled. They look like they're about to bite each other. <laughs> Funny. And this is a paper weight type tag. So be a little hard to use as unless you back it to something. But it's got lovely script on it. And then this is also, it's a slightly heavier weight, but it's still paperweight, I would say. Tag. And it looks like playing cards on there. What is this life if full of care? Hmm. These have a little bit of like, uh, looks like probably it came on that, but oops, not that, that, like when it was printed, but eh, you just pull that off. I love the imagery here. It looks almost like a ticket, but it's paper also. And then this looks like a ticket too, and ooh, I love the feather pen. So that's a variety of paper ephemera and washi stickers in that little package there. Those, like, were attached here. What do we have here? You know, I'm getting a little distracted. I do want to go with the more themed stuff, so I'm going to jump down here. Oh, I washied it to my desk, and look at the stickers. Love these. These are the clear ones that come usually in every box. You get kind of a themed set of these, black and white, or black and clear. And then they'll just go down, stickers. And then we have, for the last several months, been getting tissue paper. It is about, I think, five sheets of six by six, roughly, square tissue paper. And pull one out. And uh, this is an interesting pattern here. I'm not sure what to call it. And it just has the vintage photography elements. We've got a couple lenses here, whatever that is. have no idea. This looks like an old maybe way of development. And then some ex lenses, accessories there. Nice neutral palette of color. And so, like that. Well, should we figure out what's in here? Let's see if I can open it easily. It says post box on it. And, ooh, open. Oh, is it a booklet? Okay, this is interesting because you have it in a box and then we have a booklet here. Ooh, I like the 
detail on the spine. And it's a little bit sticky, like there's adhesive residue, kind of. Oh, this is a, like very similar or the same as something I think we got in the last box. There's stickers. And, ooh, these ones are really cool. They're like very mixed media looking. And here we have pull it off here and you can see that it is translucent. So you're going to see whatever you put it onto a little bit coming through. But it is not transparent. It's It does, you know, offer some coverage over whatever you put it on. These are really, I love the color pop there and the butterfly. See, and there, it looks like each one is unique. I don't know if they repeat later. Whoa, that looks like an advertisement. Let me see if I can flip through Ooh, I love this one. Probably can't just flip through and see each one. That would take a long time. This looks like from an old cookbook. Like one of those vintage images. So they're this is kind of random. There's some postage and like mixed media ones and some food images. Well, I kind of wish there were more of these first couple. Um, but then it goes into like there's four what I would call mixed media and then seems to go into vintage advertising. I like that one. Uh, yeah. This one's pretty cool with a mishmash of colors and advertising. Ooh, I like the face peeking out there. And vintage Halloween looking. Oh, and then uh, we've got a few more like kind of different ones. Ah, what's this back one? Oop, it came off. How long does it take to grow radish? Radishes, in my experience, grow pretty quickly. It's quite satisfying because you don't have to wait as long. Okay, that was random. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. More paper ephemera, I'm guessing here. These are great for collage. Lots of advertising, vintage, print, newspaper type. So it's like kind of a neutral background too. That is great for with mixed media as well. Setting that aside. Seems like we've got a lot of variety of paper ephemera in this box. More paper ephemera. Oh, I've got a little crumpled there. These are a little bit heavier weight than these ones. But I wouldn't call it tag weight either. I don't know if you can kind of hear the difference. So these look kind of like frames. It looks like there's two of each. Maybe they're like photo frames going with the whole photo theme. Yep, cabinet portrait. Hmm. Oh, this is really interesting. Can you see the texture? There's a lot of texture on these ones and they may be just a repeat of the last. Look at that cool texture. That would be, you could, if you just wanted to use this side, you could get some fun effects highlighting that texture with ink or stamp, uh, stamp ink, um, even watercolor you could try. Uh, maybe I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend getting it very wet though. But yeah, it looks like the designs repeat on this other type of paper, which is pretty neat. I like that they give you variety in that way. So these are probably part of the themed photo stuff. And here's the la is this the last? Looks like the last one. Again, it's always get great to be able to reuse the packaging. You can use these for tags, for journal cards, all kinds of things. Even, you know, maybe even make a journal out of it. This one wouldn't work as well, but some of them, like, you can fold that sideways. And if you just want to cover up the logos, you can make a little um, cover for a journal, a little mini. So these are paper. Again, wait, no, what is this? I spoke too soon. As I'm feeling it, I felt this look feels like a backer. These are stickers. Full page stickers. What size is this? About uh, four and a quarter by five and a half inch stickers. Oh wait, no, I again spoke too soon. This one is a sticker, but the one behind is paper. 
And what do we have? Paper and vellum. That's cool. So, and this one does not have a background. So you get two pieces of paper in the same design and a sticker paper and a vellum page. I love that they have been kind of doing that and giving more variety in some of their themed paper packs. So we get, I think this one's the sticker paper, two papers and a, oops, a vellum sheet. Then there's this design. This, when I saw it from a distance, like from behind, I thought it was soccer balls, but it is not. It's just a very interesting pattern there with, the, you know, a little bit of stuff in the background. Ooh, I love these, the red, the lime kind of colored and the turquoise like that. And lastly, there's this design. Lots of fun stuff to play with this month and some pretty cool surprises. Uh, maybe I should put like a spoiler alert on this because I don't want to, you know, ruin everyone else's surprise, but there's some cool stuff in this box as usual and I'm pretty excited to get started working on creating with it. So if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. It'll be a little while before I can work on these things, but I do have some fun videos that are travel related coming out very soon. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful creative day. Bye!